All right, so we got to talk about this, man. This is crazy, man. This is really crazy, man. These raffles are getting out of control. They are getting out of control. The amount of channels now doing raffles, it's getting out of hand, man. They really got to start regulating these raffles and separating the real ones, the legit ones, from the fake ones, all right? Because there's a bunch of channels doing it now, and they're not doing it the right way, man. They're just taking advantage of people at this point. So we got Danny on IG Live. We're going to check her out, um, talk about Corey SSG's raffle, all right? Another raffle, man. We talked about this last year, the year before last year. Um, but based on dates alone, this one says entries close October 12, 2024. So this was just like a week ago, about a week ago, two weeks ago, something like that. So this is for a 2022 wide body Hellcat Charger and a 1987 Monte Carlo SS and forty thousand dollars in cash right and here's the thing man like where is the titles where are the titles we talked about this last year with the raffle from last year right we got the winner from last year who came out and exposed Corey ssg about the very same thing man where are the titles to these cars there is no transparency this is why i said they got to start regulating these raffles because they're just giving raffles a bad name for everybody that does the legit ones, all right? It's just getting out of hand, man. It's really getting out of control at this point. Um, so I saw, like, some discrepancy where, like, oh, well, Corey SSG was using a different website or something like that. Based on the dates, I mean, you just saw this a sec ago. This is on Raffle Crater, and it was supposed to close a week ago, October 12th, right? Um, so where are the winners? Where are the winners these so-called winners, right? And another thing I noticed, like if you watch uh, Corey SSG's videos, like I feel like he does his best to try to hide the plates to the car. Uh, I just thought that was kind of like suspicious, right? I mean, on top of that, he doesn't really show the titles. I mean, I would think if you're going to post this, this Raffle Creator website or whatever, at least show the title so people know there is a title for this car that they're expected to win when they do win this car or whatever. Um, so there's no picture of a title. It's just two pic uh, pictures of just two cars, right? So yeah, entries close October 12, 2024. So this is Raffle Crater. I don't know what all these people are talking about. Talking about there's a different website. Unless he was doing two separate raffles. I mean, that's a possibility. But this one says entries close October 12, 2024 at 12 p.m. Win a Hellcat Charger and a Monte Carlo SS and forty thousand dollars in cash. Um, now I saw I saw a different video, and I was able to see the plates on the car, because it's really hard to see the plates on Corey SSG's videos. Um, but the, I guess the guys that hang around him, they, they I guess they don't do the editing. Um, so I was able to see the plates. So this one's got like bogus temp tags on it. Um, so until the car actually gets transferred to a permanent tag, that's the only time you're going to be able to trace the car. But right now it's just got temp tags. It could have been for a day, a week, a month, who knows? Um, this one right here, the Monte Carlo, all right, I saw this video from a couple months ago. It still got the, the original plates are still, it still contains the uh, data for the car. So you would think if, if he raffled the car and somebody else won the car, perhaps they would get new plates. But it looks like the same plates. The same plates contain the same information. Um, so it's just, something's just not adding up, man. It's just not adding up. And this is the same problem like last year with the Challenger uh, jailbreak. We'll probably, uh, I'll, I'll probably find the video on the winner from last year. I mean, you would think people would would learn their lesson and ask these guys about sharing titles and being transparent. But it's just like, at this point, I really don't feel bad for the people that lost money. So yeah, y'all, it's people that, that know me, that the bought raffles, that people that in my, in my DM like, hey, uh, what's up with the raffle uh, drawing? What's up with this, what's up with that? For me to get down here and see how you... Hold on, y'all saying I need to get my wife out together? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, y'all, it's people that flew all the way from church. People that knew me, my family members, a lot of people bought them the tickets. So, the day of the car show, he was like, uh, two days before the car show, y'all, my last check, my last check of her boyfriend came here to do my lashes. Um, so, she came here. Of course, the dude that came with her, her 
called baby daddy. They were sitting out here just talking. So all of a sudden, he comes back in. When, when the girl got done doing my lashes, he come back in the house and was like, oh, I got a, I got a play that I think I'm going to make. But he never told me about the play. You get what I'm saying? So all of a sudden, when he announced the winner at the car show, he said, Kevin Johnson, Kevin Johnson, whoever, Kevin Johnson, I'm like, then I ain't found for me. That's not like my last check, dude. So I hit my last check up. I'm like, so did your dude win the car? She was like, girl, you know, they was out there talking when I did your lashes. They was out there, you know, putting that together like he was going to win the car. So you done took all these folks' money, and ain't nobody won the car. And so where is the winner, man? Where is the winner to the car? She says the winner is, I guess, somebody that he uh, pre-planned it with. So where where is the winner? I thought I thought he made videos, right? Because if you go on his channel, it seems like the last video was made a couple months ago. So where's this so called winner? Your software, you can put in whoever name that you want to show up to be the winner. So guess what? Make that sense. So yeah, we've been at it since then. Since that, that bull happened at the car show and on top of some other that happened when I was trying to get my, my cars towed out and, and come back to Houston, me and the sister got into it. We've been at it since then. So that's why it's so much back and forth. It's so much back and forth. So my thing is... you. This is exactly what I told you guys. It's getting out of control. It's getting out of hand. There's no oversight to this stuff. Um, you know, they can manipulate the website. They can put in entries. I don't know that they can do it on the back end. Like if she, um, like if Corey SSG could um, manually put in entries, that's something we could probably explore. But um, you can definitely like on the front end, right, as you're buying tickets, I mean, who's to say that he has his best friend, right, throwing in like a thousand, two thousand, three thousand dollars worth of tickets, right? They're going to get the money back anyways, they're putting that money into the website to get the majority amount of tickets. So it could be manipulated a couple of different ways. Um, and this is why I'm saying it's because there's no real transparency. Um, like you guys don't know how many people entered. Does he disclose? Get in the comments. Does he disclose to you how many people have entered? How many tickets were sold? Um, which uh, ticket holders hold the largest quantity of tickets? You really don't know. None of this stuff is really shared. There's no transparency. You guys don't even see a car title. You don't even see a, a license plate. It's like you got to go on other people's videos, all right, that are just like hanging around him or maybe bump into Corey SSG, bump into a, or they see his car at a car show or something like that for you actually to get a glimpse at the car and see their video and see the plates on the car and then run the plates. But he doesn't show any. I feel like he really tries his best to hide it or maybe his editor does it. Who knows? Um, so that's what I'm saying. Like, it's, it's really getting out of hand at this point and it's really giving the people that are doing legit raffles a really bad look. Um, and this is like, I hate to say it, man, this is not the first time. I mean, Carmen told you guys this, um, like I said, a year ago, I've been getting so many comments to be like, oh, you should talk about Corey SSG's raffle, man. We talked about this. We talked about this last year. We talked about this the year before last year. The winner from last year even did videos and he was talking about how the communication with Corey S is he was shady and sketchy. I mean, we're going to have to play that video again, man. I feel like I feel like people are just really like stupid at this point. Like people are really stupid and I don't feel like I don't really don't feel too bad at the people that lost money. It's like if you're OK getting peed on last year, then it's OK to get peed on this year. people really in my dm that know me that know me asking me about a car raffle i don't even raffle cars off i don't even i'm not even the one that raffled the damn cars off so i'm just as clueless as hell the same person he claimed won the car is at my house now in a damn hyundai so yeah so man that's crazy the same person that won the car is the same person at her house in a Hyundai. I mean, that might explain why that car still has, um, or it has temp tags on it. So like I said, until those temp tags, until the data on the temp tag gets uh, transferred to a permanent tag, that's probably the only time you're going to be able to trace the car. All right. Cause the temp tags are just the holding spot 
for the car's information. Unless the car gets returned back to the dealer, then it gets placed back into inventory. Either way, it's going to get traced. All right, once it gets transferred to any new owner or whatever, or any new plate, it's going to become traceable. The same way the uh, Monte Carlo is traceable because it has a permanent tag. It contains all the data to the car until it transfers to another plate. Um, so I, you would think, all right, you would think that if the car was a raffle car and somebody won the car, they'd go register the car, right? But uh, the old tags still contain all the data. So I don't know, man. Something is just not adding up. Something smells really fishy. Um, it smells just as fishy as the one from last year and the one before last year and the one before that one. And I mean, you guys remember, right? This is what I'm saying. Like a lot of this stuff could be manipulated. They said the guy that won his truck, he put in like 16,000 or 17 or $20,000. So who's to say that he can just have one of his homeboys, right? He can give him the money or his homeboy might have the money. Or whatever, right? And they put in a large sum of money into the raffle. And of course, they're going to win. And they can come on video and be like, oh, I bought like $50 worth of tickets. Or they can do like 10, 20 different transactions. The first transaction, they can do it for like 10000 The second transaction for $100. The third one for $25. And then say, oh, I only spent $25 and show the third transaction. It could be manipulated in so many different ways. So, I mean, I hear all these stories, all these other guys coming out, you know, trying to make it seem like it's not this way or that way. Some shit is going on. This is what I'm saying. This shit got to get regulated because it's out of control. If you guys were just so honest and upfront about it and trustworthy with your business, then we wouldn't be at this point. But they're doing all this sketchy ass shit. All right. Trying to take advantage of innocent people that are just trying to win a car because they can't afford a car. So they have to enter these raffles. It's just getting out of control, man. That's why me and him be being it, being it. Cause I'm like, I'm tired of people writing me about these and raffles, and they didn't even give a, give a car away for free. You know how much money you probably I'll be talking about some. Oh, she only got known because of Corey. But keep in mind, I have my own fan base. I have eleven thousand test clients, so that means eleven thousand people for sure know Danny. So I got people asking me about some car raffles, and y'all just set up here and put in a name that you want to win. Come on now, ever since after that car show, we've been at each other's neck like. Back and forth, back and forth. And when it came down to all these these damn cars. And then for this person to be my friend, God tries to help you out. When you first told me you was going to lose your house before you even moved out your house, girl offered to give you your mortgage money. Literally, I offered to give you your mortgage money to pay your mortgage to keep you in your house. I really tried to keep you in your house. And you on the phone with a nigga supposed to be my nigga telling my nigga, oh, the, the business with the cars, we going to keep that between... We gonna keep that between us, which means that don't tell Danny the business that we're doing with the car. They don't give no cars that's gonna go back. The people looking for the cars now. They looking for them now. Man, this story just sounds so similar, man. It really sounds like a story that I heard last year, man. The very exact same story. The guy, another gentleman, all right. And it was an older guy too. He won the car. Um, and they took advantage of them. Corey, Corey SSG, they had this whole weird ass story. And this is the thing, like we've been known the cars are not his. All right. Maybe before when he first started, they were his, I don't know when it got out of hand, but eventually got out of hand. All right. Eventually the greed kicked in the selfishness, you know, it's just, this is very common with these uh, YouTubers. I mean, we've seen it with bigger ones, even before Corey SSG, and they probably learned it from those guys. Um, but this is what I'm saying. It's just getting out of hand at this point. And a side of me, like I said, doesn't really feel too bad because if you are okay with what happened last year and you are aware of it and this year you still enter, like I think she says, uh, $30,000 was made or 50,000, whatever. There, there's still a bunch of idiots that entered it because Corey S is still able to fool a lot of people. So how do you cross me out for unless you barely even know? How do you feel if I call your husband and tell your husband, oh, um, I want to do business with you, but we're going to keep Brittany out? Come on, make that make sense. All these cars in my money are my money cars, okay? Everybody already knew that. We ain't even got to talk about who cars is who, who has who, this and that. Everybody, they already...
I'm going to be honest with you guys. Like, that comment she made where she says, um, keep Britney out. Like, there was, I guess, communication between Corey and some other guy. And I guess she found out that Corey told him to keep Britney out or whatever. Or Danny out or whatever. I don't know. It, it's just something about that that makes me look at her sideways now. Because it's like, maybe she had some kind of involvement. All right. And I guess when... They didn't want to give her the slice of the pie or didn't want her aware of the, the business operation. That's when she probably decided, I'm going to blow the whistle on him. So this time I don't even understand. You these tickets and you scam. So these are the cars right here. I mean, like I said, based on dates alone, this is October 12, 2024. So this is practically 10 days ago yeah about a week ago something like that um so yeah i mean the car the monte carlo the tags still has the same tags still the same active tags same registration i mean we can pull the title we can pull everything these cars are fully traceable this one right here is still on a on a temp tag and with the temp tags it's just a holding spot so it could be a holding spot for a day you can go to a car dealership and uh, they can give you a loaner, right, for a day that you might be interested in. They might put the temp tags on it and it's only active for a day or two days or a week or two weeks or two months. And you never know what kind of arrangement they might have with dealers, all right, or people that are wholesaling cars or it's just so many ways. Like we could we could sit here and just put out all kinds of different scenarios. So until the car gets transferred to a permanent tag, that's probably the only time it's going to get traced. Now, it's a difference of saying somebody is a scammer and you don't have proof. But at the car show, so that's something I don't even understand. You these tickets and you scam. Now, it's a difference of saying somebody is a scammer and you don't have proof. But at the car show, I'm like, damn, some of my people bought tickets too. I ain't even gonna talk about the broke part. Come on, y'all. I ain't, I ain't even here to do all this. I'm just letting y'all know the reason why the shit working out here. Like I'm a real for business person. So you got people that on my end that done bought tickets too. I'm talking about the whole fine, whole fine. I'm thinking this shit because I'm like, if this shit was the right way, I might let you raffle my Maybach truck off. You get what I'm saying? I might just help your business and help you. You know, you can raffle my Maybach truck off, or we may probably can raffle the the Tesla off, or you know, some of some of my. Come to find out. Come on now. I know y'all be lying like I'm a scammer and shit. Ain't nobody still can't even prove yet that I'm stealing somebody's tax money. But to get down there and to see how this shit And when he called out the name, I'm like, this my last sick dude name. So y'all done sat out here and came up with a little, with a little play. Now he out here. Now all right. So that was pretty much Danny. And these are all the uh, pictures. So. Yeah, something is another, it's another fishy story. Um, but like I said, I don't really feel too bad because all the idiots that have entered. I mean, if you, if you, if you were living under a rock or in a tunnel or something like that and you weren't paying attention last year or the year before last year, then, um, I hate to say it, man, you deserve to lose your money, man. You really deserve to lose this. All these people that entered and, he was able to make 30000 or 50000 or whatever amount he made. And you guys never seen a title, never seen the plates on the car, never seen anything. Man, it just makes it so easy. This is what I'm saying. It makes it so easy. Anybody can literally just make an account with Raffle Creator, post a bunch of pictures. Um, and it's got like a decent following of a, a couple thousand people. And they can easily fool anybody. It's that simple, and that's exactly what's going on. So it's not just Corey S. It is a bunch of people. Um, yesterday, we talked about Mike Ray. He pulled out a raffle. It's like, I'm saying, it's, like, it's, not, it's getting out of control. The raffles are getting out of control, and it's giving the, uh, the ones that are doing the legit ones a, bit, a really bad rap at this point. So, yeah, man, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments.